Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Core. Today I'm going to be reading for my fellow Capricorns, my if sign subscribers. <laughs> Sorry guys, you keep on thinking I'm saying ear, but I'm saying if. Earth. <laughs> this is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs or if you're a cross watcher and you're interested in madly in love with or you just want to know how your Capricorn X is doing, then all cross watchers are welcome. All I ask, you don't wish any negativity upon anybody, please. Only positivity, because karma is a bee and it will end up coming back on me. If you don't want it, don't give it. Only give good and good will come on to you, my loves. Right. <laughs> Please, 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 while I'm shuffling my cards, I just want to say quickly, do not reach out to me, like literally through email or on my Instagram and sending inappropriate messages. It's really not appreciated. And if you do that, I will block you because I do not want any pictures of your bits. Okay. And I don't want to go out on a date or meet up for a booty call. Okay. I may be single, okay, but that doesn't mean I need to meet up for a booty call, okay? <laughs> oh my days, I never thought I'd be saying something like that on the channel, that's for sure. But obviously the last reading got some of you all up in your feels and I started getting inappropriate messages, so yeah. No, guys, no. Everybody else? Thank you to new and all subscribers for your support. I love you. Love you. With everything I have, you are my spiritual family and you mean the world. If I mispronounce something, you think I'm saying a different sign, then I'm sorry. I do have false teeth and sometimes I do mispronounce stuff and it does sound like something else. I'm sorry. Be patient with me. I'll try my best and that's all we can do. What is the energy for the reading for Capricorn? The energy for the reading for Capricorn. My fellow Capricorns. My beautiful Capricorns. Ooh. Sacrifice. Deception and envy. And straight away, I'm feeling that you are moving on with your life, you're holding yourself in high regard, you're loving yourself first, as a Capricorn does, you know, this like mean, like badass, like I'm going to do what I'm guided to do, I'm going to follow what makes me happy, I'm going to be abundant, I don't need anybody else, I'm filling my cup up, yeah, damn right. Like, I'm so proud of you all. Like, I'm feeling like, yeah, wow. <laughs> but what I'm feeling is somebody from your past, an ex in particular, is very angry that you've moved on and with the person that you have moved on with. And you're like, well, sorry, mate, you had your chance. <gasps> yeah. Or this just could be a friend. For some of you, it's a friend that's very jealous of your success. Okay. You want in the bottom card and the top card. Right. You've definitely got the divine justice on your back. Good karma is flowing around you. This energy is beautiful. Yeah, you're very abundant. You've worked you've worked really really hard in every single aspect of your life whether it's career whether it's nurturing relationships family relationships love relationships you've worked really 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 hard you're very very focused capricorn and you've been very careful what you wish for you've been very careful who you accept into your life. It's like, yeah, hmm. 
you are good looking. I do like you. I do have feelings for you. But I ain't going to let you in until I know what you're about. Mm -hmm. Almost as if you're getting people to prove themselves to you. Because you are such a heightened level of success, because you're in such a good place, you ain't just letting any riffraff off the streets. Do you know what I mean? Like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, I'm getting fuckboy energy from you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I ain't up for that. No. The next person that I want to come into my life is the person that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Yeah. I'm not up for that sort of thing. Mm -mm. And it's beautiful. Because you know that no matter what, who you accept into your life, who you let into your life, whether it is just a friendship, whether it is romantic, or like I said, people reaching out to me, whether it is connecting with people sexually, you know that these people will drain your energy if they're low vibing, right? But if they're, if they're high frequency people, if they're working and, and radiating good energy, then you're going to feel it because you're vibrating that good energy too. And you don't want anybody to knock you off your perch because at the moment, you're so stable. You're in the best time of your life, right? And everybody around you, anybody you come into contact with, sees it. They see you glowing. They see you're abundant. They see that everything you put your hands to is successful. So you're not going to let anybody in. And I guarantee everybody... Sorry, guys, I've got an itch leg. Like, um, any, every, every guy is reaching out to you. I'm seeing somebody with a very full inbox. But all these people are low vibrating. And they're like, oh, I want a bit of Capricorn's energy. <laughs> like people, like I'm getting, God, I'm resonating to this for God's sake. For God's sake. Okay. I just, I just seen that you were like, oh my God, you never guess who literally like chatted me up yesterday. They sent me a message. They sent, me, like I'm getting you speaking to your friends and you're like, you never guess who added me yesterday. You never guess who messaged me yesterday. Do you remember that that guy from school? Like, I'm getting that you're like shocked that somebody's reached out to you. Somebody you never, ever thought. It's like all those people that you, like the popular kids in school, yeah? That you had a crush on and now reached out to you. Are now being like, oh, I want to be with Capricorn. I wasn't good enough back then, though, but I'm good enough now. Hmm. <sighs> oh, God. Somebody I used to go to school with. God, this was like a couple of months ago now. Um, he reached out to me and asked me out on a date. And I was just like, Are you freaking kidding me? That's why I was resonating. <laughs> and yeah, he added, he tried to add me on Facebook and I was like, no, 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 no. No, I'm not having you snooping. <laughs> Cause that's all it's about. They see that you've had this glow up. They see that you're holding yourself in high regards and they see that glow and they see how beautiful you're looking or handsome you're looking and they want a piece of that pie. But I'm sorry, this pie is really, really precious. And I'm not gonna go give in any slices of pie out to just to anybody, right? Oh my God, because Capricorn, you're in love with somebody else. You've got your eye on somebody else. Who's Capricorn got their eye on? And this person's pissed off. Whether it's the person that's been reaching out to you, whether it's all these people that are in your DMs, you've got a lot of choices, Capricorn. You've got a lot of people wanting to be with you. You're very... With the High Priestess, you're very spiritual. You're very intuitive. You're very in sense with your... 
with your own spirit guides you know you you feel that guidance you feel that knowledge of going yeah i shouldn't be going there or i should be going here i know you're a bad person i know you're a good person i know i need to go down this path i know i need to head towards this person and before you didn't listen to that inner gut instinct you didn't listen to your own spirit guides but now more than ever for the last two years especially you have been following every single bit of guidance and it's led you to some absolutely breathtaking unbelievable places right oh, oh my god capricorn capricorn oh my god you know, I wish I just had a Capricorn channel. Like, I love all my other star signs. I really, really do. But the Capricorn readings, and I've got 12, the 12 month. Your, your readings blow my mind every single time. I love being in your energy. I am a Capricorn. I was born on the 29th of December. And, um, yeah, your energy is unbelievable and I'm not surprised all these people want to be around you. I'm literally getting the same thing myself at the moment and um, yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's unbelievable, it's unbelievable. Either you or the person that you are madly in love with and I'm getting, you are like, oh my God, like that last reading, that's how you feel about this person. It isn't just I am best friends with you. I want to be your ride or die. I want to make love to you all night long. I want to like get up in there. <laughs> get up in there. Like I just feel like you're, oh my God, you're so consumed by each other. Even the hair is like interlocking. It's like, oh, it's like, I'll put the picture up here for you guys. She's like gripped onto him and she's like pulling his hair down. Because I feel like even when you're thinking of this person, you just want to be with them. Not just like, oh yeah, we'll like cook or whatever. I just feel like you're like, get the urge. Do you know what I mean? You can't help but touch each other. You can't help be be around each other and be consumed by each other. When you're in a room together, you can't keep your eyes off each other. Like you don't care if anybody else is watching, I just want to be kissing you. I just want to be in your arms. <laughs> it's like making me feel, oh my God, like, I just see that you're, you're relaxing, you're like sitting in a kitchen and then they're in the front room. So some of you are in a kitchen, some of you are in a front room, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't matter. So you're like sat down and you're chilling and then all of a sudden your love interest walks in and you're like, wow. And like they could literally be wearing a bin bag and you're like, damn, you're wearing that bin bag in all sorts of ways. They can literally be rocking up and they can be in from head to toe in dirt and you're like, mm, that dirt on you. <laughs> and I'm getting that you're two people that like spend quite a bit of time together. Like you have your own separate times, which is wonderful. Spend time with friends, spend time with family separately and then come together. Everybody needs their own personal spaces and then you come back together to be together. But I do feel like, yes, you do have a lot of time together and this time that you have together, whether it's like going to the gym together or um, working together. And I don't see that. Starting up a business together, that's what I do see, that you're starting up a business together, something that you've always wanted to do. For some of you, it's I've always won. It's like a, um, like a bed and breakfast. That's what I'm seeing. Like I've always wanted to like run a bed and breakfast. That's what I'm. 
that's not my spirit guys telling me that you're saying to somebody oh can you imagine running a bed and breakfast like can you imagine that would be so cool like just that's what I'm saying Capricorn it's almost as if not that one. sorry I knocked it with my finger yeah it's almost as if you're you're leaving all this like toxicity that's around you all these people that are trying to come into your life did you just see that last card just flip from there then yeah all these people that are trying to come into your life that you're like no like all these people in your dms you know even like cats dogs rats gerbils <laughs> The next door neighbor's dog's like, woof, woof. <laughs> Wanna come in there? <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Sorry. In a really weird mood today. <laughs> I just feel like everybody's attracted to you. I guarantee that you've got pets and they're like your shadow, like following you around. Everybody feels this massive, like, powerful, abundant, successful energy radiating from you at the moment. It's like, I just feel this like aura. Look at this, look at that, like all here, this just like, like that's what I'm seeing Capricorn. It's like you're like, I've got this like powerful energy and anybody that comes into contact with you wants to be a part of that. But sadly, because you're radiating this positive, uplifting, empowering energy, so anybody that comes near you has a little bit of that powering energy. And they're like, oh my God, I was with Capricorn yesterday and I had the best day. Like every went, everything went so well when I was with them. Really weird. Like I got that job. What? What the job you didn't think you was gonna get? I got it. Yeah. Like I just see people being like, it was because I was with Capricorn. Capricorn's like this guy, good luck person. I'm, I swear it's Capricorn. Like, seriously. But then, on the flip side, you've got all the low vibrating people that want to drain that energy, that want to take that from you. And sometimes we let people in that, that we feel are good vibrational people. That we feel. And sometimes... We, we feel like they're good people, okay? Which they are good people. They're just going through their own karmic cycles. They're low vibrational. They, they don't see what's going on around them. So they're very low vibrational. They're just going through their own hard cycles. But these people will continue to drain you and you let them in because you want to help them. You want to guide them. But these people sometimes are unhelpable and they are very selfish and they will continue to drain you and then all of a sudden you've gone from being in this positive uplifting really a powerful like i'm gonna conquer the world energy to being completely depressed and i can't live my life anymore because somebody that was in this low vibrational energy has been in contact with you and they've drained you. And because you haven't protected yourself, because you haven't put that shield up, because you haven't closed down your energy to people, they're able to do so. So always ground and protect yourself. There's loads of things all over YouTube about ground and protecting. I will link some stuff down below that I use. Um, if you need to do any cord cutting, I will link the best one that I know of down below because sometimes there is people after they've been around us and they will attach cords and they will continue to drain us. So sometimes we need to cut those cords so they can no longer drain us and we can still be in that high frequency and hold and love us and support ourselves because pe other people don't know how to do it. We need to think of ourselves first before we can think of anybody else, okay, my loves? Oh, that really needed to be said. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This could be the one. No, not could. It is. 
you're already you've already met a romantic partner you see right you have because your cup is overflowing with love for each other and you're going to bring in this communication and tell each other how you feel you're finally going to get the dm that you want <laughs> divine masculine and uh, direct message <laughs> sorry I just saw my reflection in the mirror. I was like, yeah, maybe not. Um, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Summer, summer, summer time. Summer time. Very soon. <laughs> Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. You deserve love. Yes, Capricorn, you are lovable. You can't see everything that's going on around you, all these people, even the animals flocking towards you. Then open your eyes, my loves, because everybody wants a piece of Capricorn right now. Heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. That's what I said earlier. Heart to heart, heart, to heart conversation. Being really vulnerable, really, really opening up and supporting each other being there for each other i do feel this isn't just a a good friend it, it's it's so much more than that you both see the special connection that you both have and it is beautiful beautiful what's the true thoughts and feelings of capricorn's love interest capricorn's love interest I desire you deeply and internally. You are my destiny. You're the only person in this world who really scares me. And that is, the reason for that is because they've never felt a connection like this before. They've never felt the intensity that they feel for you. Which means if they feel this way for you, that also means that you have more power to hurt them so we meet again my dear friend through space and time i just realized sorry guys personal so i've just realized something personal sorry guys you are my destiny oh my god this person is absolutely crazy about you and I don't feel like you realised how much this person loves you. Until this communication has come through. I feel like you're both getting the clarity that you need. Because you've longed for each other for such a long time. Because you ignored these envious people. These options that literally weren't an option. They were just nasty people. Yeah, because you ignored them and you held yourself in high regard, all this abundance, all this love is coming forward. Because you deserve love. After how far, how hard you've worked on yourself, you deserve this. Damn right you do. Okay, Capricorn. Thank you, my loves. So this one first. Solar plexus, solar plexus chakra, Manipura. You are free to be yourself. Your power is yours to keep. No excuses, no apologies. Damn right, Capricorn. Banish the fear and shine your beautiful light. I love it when everything aligns. You always have been. You always will be. You are. You belong. Keep on saying that to yourself, darlings. Seriously, keep on repeating that. You always have been. You always will be. I always have been. I always will be. I belong. I am that. I, I, I can achieve that. I am doing that. I am good enough at that. Remember that. Crown chakra, connection, consciousness, beyond sound. 
I recognize the interconnectedness of all life. I honor my connections to all that is. I embody the universal love. I am worthy of God's unconditional love or the universal unconditional love. I am open to new connections and possibilities I, as I explore the gift of consciousness. I'm always connected. We are always connected. Beautiful. Bloody beautiful that is but that bloody beautiful that is but. <laughs> I hope you liked your messages. I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you for all the support that you have shown me, Capricorns. The last Capricorn reading I did, you all blew my mind, the love and support that you've given me. I will always be truly, truly grateful. You don't know what you're doing for me and my children. This channel has truly changed my life and given me the confidence that I never even realised that I had. So thank you all so, 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 so much. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journey, my loves. See you next time. Bye, lovelies. Bye. Thank you.